You see, Dennis, when I pull back and forth on this rope, why, the bricks tied to the other end clean the chimney. Gosh, Mr. Wilson, how'd you ever think of that? Oh, it's something I learned from my dad back on the farm in Pennsylvania. Can I help you pull it back and forth? Well, no, Dennis, but... Well, here, you can hold it for me. Good and tight now. Well, I go put this basket in the fireplace to catch the soot. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Wilson. Maybe when I come back, you can pull it back and forth for me. Hurry back. Uh, Hi, Dennis. Hi, Jimmy. What you doing, Dennis? Holding this rope for Mr. Wilson. What you got there, Jimmy? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to show anybody. Not even your absolute best friend? Well, you don't tell me, buddy. Not even if they torture me. Ready? <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> Dennis Mitchell! I don't want ever to see you on this side of that fence again. This is my property. That is your property. Children. Oh, why can't everybody be born an adult like I was? <laughs> I smuggle around are the ones in my head. Now, this is work, and I gotta get it out tonight. Tonight? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a talk with that boss of yours. Well, you can't blame him this time. Those are the new lighting plans for the neighborhood clubhouse. Dad, you're home! Hey, son! Dad, will you do it? Did you ask him, Mom? Well, I... About helping me join a new club at school. The Junior Pathfinders. Oh. Our history teacher, Mr. Abernathy. He's starting it. Well, I'd better start supper while you two braves have a powwow. <laughs> Please, Dad, to get in the club, I have to camp out one night on top of Lookout Ridge. Lookout Ridge? That's a mountain, son. You can't camp out there. I have to, just like the Indians did. Mr. Abernathy knows all about how the Indians live. You sure you want to know all about how the Indians live? Cheapers if I don't know Indian stuff. What'll I do in an emergency? I couldn't even find my way over to Mr. Wilson's. I doubt that that'll happen. Some night soon. It has to be tonight, Dad. Why? I only found out today because I wasn't there last week when they announced it. I have to get in the club by tomorrow or wait till next term. I'm sorry, son. I'd, I'd like to, but I've got all this work to do. But, Dad! Son, I'm sorry. The man's coming for this work tonight. You'll have to wait till next term. I guess I'll just have to be a do-it-yourself Indian. <laughs> Oh, there you are, Mr. Wilson. Oh, hello, Mrs. Schooner. Hello, Mr. Wilson. I have something I know you'll want to hear. Oh, not a new bird call. No, not this time. I've been busy with other things. Hold on to yourself, Mr. Wilson. You have been chosen as one of the nominees for our Best Citizen of the Year Award. Best citizen of the year? Me? George, how wonderful. Well, now. For good. Oh, well, uh, sit down, Mrs. Scooter. Right over here, be comfortable in my chair. Thank you. We committee members know how you single handedly collected funds for the bird sanctuary. Well, birds can't fly all the way south without stopping to rest someplace. Uh, I mean, nobody can. Well, we heard that some of the birds no longer fly south, they just fly here. We were very impressed. Well, one more trophy. Oh, there's no trophy. But there is a prize. 
This year, it's a power lawnmower. A power lawnmower? I was just saying this morning to Martha, Mrs. Schooner, I can positively kiss you. Oh! <laughs> you haven't won yet, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> the election is tomorrow morning. We present the award to the winner at his home at noon. Well, my goodness, it's certainly going to be an exciting Saturday. Of course, we must do some final checking. Why, last year, the nominee with the inside track was almost elected. When, would you believe it, at the last minute, we found out that he hated children. Oh, I can't believe it. I found out from the little boy who lived next door to him. A man like that ought to be tarred and feathered. <laughs> well, I must be flitting along. <laughs> Just remember one thing, Mr. Wilson. After what you did for our town in getting the birds a sanctuary, even if you don't win tomorrow morning, the birds know what you did for them. So many of the things George does are for the birds. <laughs> and that's why, Mr. Wilson, as far as I'm concerned, you have the inside track for the award. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Inside track. Did you hear that, Martha? Best citizen of the year. You're my best citizen of any year, dear. Oh, well, thank you, Martha. But you're prejudiced. You know me. <laughs> what about that poor man who lost out because of the little boy next... Oh, no, he dead. <laughs> what is it, dear? Dennis. Now, you don't suppose he has some crazy idea that I don't like children, do you? I don't think so. No, well, I don't know. Oh, Dennis wouldn't get the wrong idea. Oh, I don't know. I can just see Mrs. Schooner now talking to Dennis and then running right to the committee and saying, I'm sorry, but we can't give that Best Citizen Award to George Wilson. He may like birds, but he hates kids. <laughs> oh, Dennis. I was just picking up some of my arrows, Mr. Wilson. I won't shoot any more of them over this way. Oh, that's all right. Now, now, wait a minute, Dennis. I wanted to talk to you. You mean it's all right for me to be over here after what oh, happened? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Forget all about that, of course. You see, Dennis, I want you to know that, well, the test of a good friend is that sometimes he can get mad at you at one moment and then, you know, forget all about it. I guess you really are my best friend then, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> well... Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Say, you know, someday I might be able to dig you up a couple of real arrowheads for this. You interested in Indian stuff, too, Mr. Wilson? Oh, of course I'm interested in Indian stuff. I'm interested in anything you're interested in, little friend. Boy, maybe I can join the Junior Pathfinders after all. Would you help me? Help you? Why, I'd be insulted if you asked anybody else. Jeepers, Mr. Wilson. For a grown-up, you're swell. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. You know, I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm not really grown up all the time. Why, in some ways, I'm still a child. That's why I can understand children much better than anybody. Gee, for that swell, Mr. Wilson. Let's go tell Mom and Dad. Hey, oh, uh, wait a minute. Tell them what? That we're going to camp out tonight on top of Lookout Ridge. That we're going to walk? That's what I have to do to join the Junior Pathfinders. And you're going to help me. You're swell, Mr. Wilson. Really swell. But look out, Ridge. But the people freeze to death up there, Dennis. Not in sleeping bags, they don't. Oh, well, I want to help you, Dennis. You understand kids better than anybody. Don't you? Oh, well, <laughs> yes, of course. Well, then what are we waiting for? Hey, Mom, Dad, come on, Mr. Wilson. Come on. <laughs> Mr. Wilson? So I can join the Pathfinders. Dennis, are you sure? Oh, well, yes, I thought if you didn't mind. <laughs> well, of course we don't mind, Mr. Wilson, if you really want to take Dennis. Oh, he wants to, all right. Mr. Wilson understands kids better than anybody. I do like the little tots, you know. That's because he's really still a child. He said so himself. I'm going up and get my stuff ready. Well, I guess I'd better get my stuff ready, too. 
Uh, you, 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 Mr. Wilson! We just want to thank you for helping Dennis this way. Well, yes, I would have taken him myself, but I've got this work that must be done tonight. Oh, well, don't be silly. It's just what I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Jeepers, jeepers, what a pine. How I wish that you were mine. <laughs> Dennis, come on down here and give me a hand. We'll put up this tent. Tent? We can't use a tent, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Abernathy said under the stars. Dennis, that wind is freezing cold. Because you want me to get in the club, don't you? Well, yes, of course. It sure is good to know somebody that understands kids better than anybody. And you would say that about me, wouldn't you? I mean, well, if somebody should happen to ask you about me sometime. Sure, yeah, Mr. Wilson. I tell them how you help me. <laughs> Couldn't we camp in a less windy place? We could, but Indians wouldn't. It isn't easy to join the Junior Pathfinders. That I'm beginning to find out. <laughs> Jump up here and prove it by bringing back a pine cone from this tree. The famous Lookout Ridge Pine. My goodness, it certainly is a big one. Well, where are the pine cones? Up there. Well, how do we get one? This isn't the kind of tree you just walk up to and shake. <laughs> one of us has to climb up there. Climb? I guess you're the lucky one, because I'm too small. <laughs> Dennis, climbing won't be necessary. Ah, uh, we'll just throw something up there, knock down one of the cones. What will we throw? Oh, I don't know. We'll find something. How about this? Hmm? Hmm? Your canteen. Oh, yeah, I guess that'll do it. Oh, now you see that big cone on the low branch there? Now, uh, watch her come down. <laughs> Did I, George? <laughs> you want to try my canteen? Huh. Ah, sure, why not? An old baseball pitcher like myself. First, I'll knock down my canteen, and then your pine cone. Too heavy? <laughs> Do you really think you ought to, Mr. Wilson? Well, I don't know what difference it makes. I might as well have both shoes up there as one. <laughs> what I mean? Everything you throw up there stays. Well, this is no time to quit, Dennis. I'm not talking about quitting. I'm talking about climbing. Yeah, all right, I'll stand back. <laughs> Oh, this is the greediest pine tree I've ever seen. <laughs> two canteens, two shoes, a walking stick, a pocket knife, and a collapsible drinking cup. <laughs> Dennis, are you absolutely sure you want to join that club? <laughs> well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Here's a refill, dear. Thank you, honey. Well, made it. Good. I'll get it. I think Mr. Mitchell is expecting me, Mrs. Mitchell. Mr. Fulmer, mm -hmm. come right in. Well, I didn't think I'd finish, Mr. Fulmer, but there they are. You know how much we of the Neighborhood Improvement Committee appreciate your work on these plans. We know how valuable a correct lighting plan can be to the artistic appearance of a building. Well, actually, anybody could have done it. <laughs> but you did it. Not only that, you headed up Fire Prevention Week and played Smokey the Bear in the annual pageant. Well, only because the real Smokey came down with the mumps at the last minute. <laughs> this will interest you too, Mrs. Mitchell. We of the committee have chosen Mr. Mitchell as one of the nominees for our Best Citizen of the Year Award. Best Citizen of the Year? Me? Oh, Henry! Well, that's wonderful! And, uh, may I say, 
As far as I'm concerned, you definitely have the inside track. <laughs> I sure do want to thank you for my pine cone, Mr. Wilson. Well, you can thank me in the morning, Dennis. Boy, were well, you great up in that tree. But you should never try to put your shoes on up there. Well, fortunately, I didn't fall all the way. <laughs> Just feels like it. <laughs> I'll zip you up, Mr. Wilson. Oh. Yeah. Like that? That's fine. Come all the way up. There. Are you comfortable? Oh, snug as a bug in a rug. Good night, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> good night, Dennis. Please bless Mom and Dad and good old Mr. Wilson. He's certainly a lot nicer than most people think. <laughs> Now you try to make friends. <laughs> Excuse me, but is this the Lookout Ridge Pine? No, it's the First National Bank building. <laughs> you don't have to be stuffy. Turn the light on it, Crystal Bell. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Oh, what photos we'll get. I must put it down in our log book. And now, what time exactly did we first see it? Oh, dear, my watch has stopped. Do you have the time? Madam, I am not the Naval Observatory. It's past midnight. I am trying to get some sleep. The woods certainly aren't what they used to be. You find just anybody here these days. I'll give him one more chance. Do you know a nice place to camp around here? Yes, you walk to the edge and jump. Come on, Georgiana, we'll find our own little nook. Some people just don't understand the courtesy of the road. Sighted Lookout Ridge after midnight. Also ran into grumpy, disgusting old bear. <laughs> God, it's raining. Dennis, Dennis, wake up. Wake up, it's raining. We've got to put up that tent now. Yes, but I'm supposed to sleep out. Oh, Dennis, this is an emergency. Even Indians sleep inside when it's raining. Now, come on, now give me a hand and let's get that tent up. Mr. Wilson, I thought sure I'd put those tent poles in the car. What some people won't do to win a power lawnmower. <laughs> Good, good. Mr. Abernathy said for what you did last night, you deserve some kind of an award. Uh, oh, Dennis, don't get too close to me. You get my cold. <laughs> well, let's hope it works out that way. Oh, Dennis, uh, you didn't talk to anybody on the way to your meeting this morning. Sure, I talked to Mom, Dad, Mr. Abernathy, the mailman. The no, 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 no. I mean somebody who might have talked to you about me. Gosh, no, Mr. Wilson. Good, good. <laughs> I have to go tell Mom and Dad. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Mrs. Schooner, members of the committee, neighbors, friends. <laughs> this is the proudest day of my life. And I just want to say that this power lawnmower, oh, this best citizen award, <laughs> ah, <laughs> but is the work of many people. And birds, of course. <laughs> all pulling together. All forgetting selfish interests for the... Uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> Good morning, Mitchell. Hi, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> I just came over to make sure you understood how much we appreciate your taking Dennis yesterday. 
Oh, that little trip? Nothing. <laughs> well, I would have been over earlier this morning, but I, I was afraid you would still be asleep. No, no. <laughs> I started feeling a little guilty after you and Dennis left. Oh, well, there's no reason for you to feel guilty, Mitchell. <laughs> And then when I heard I'd been nominated for Best Citizen of the Year Award, why, well, I really felt guilty. You, Mitchell, nominated? No. Oh, yes, I've been doing some work for the committee, and one of the members picked it up last night and, and told me that I was a nominee. Well. <laughs> but when he told me that I was, I had the inside track, I could have gone right through the floor. As of what time did you have the inside track? <laughs> As of about 11 o'clock last night. I've heard of low tricks, Mitchell. I've heard of low tricks, but this is just about the lowest. While I was up there risking my life with your son, you were down here currying favor, working hard to win my award. You, Mr. Wilson? You were nominated? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Now I really feel terrible. You feel terrible? I may die of pneumonia any minute now. <laughs> I don't know what to say, Mr. Wilson. I hope your cold gets better. I hope you win. <laughs> Alice, this suspense is terrible. Don't worry so, Henry. Well, just because you had the inside track doesn't mean you'll win the award. Well, I hope not. I, I mean, supposing I did win, we couldn't go on living next door to Mr. Wilson. Henry, Henry, some cars are driving up in front of the Wilsons. Maybe I've lost. <laughs> George, some cars are parking in front of our house. <laughs> Why, Martha, it's the committee members. Maybe I've won after all. over to the Mitchells. Henry, they're coming here. This is terrible. Well, well I certainly could have used that power lawnmower. Oh, Mrs. Schooner. Hello, Mrs. Wilson. Will you and Mr. Wilson join us for the presentation? <laughs> Why, of course. I'll wait. Excuse me. <laughs> Dear. Martha, what are you saying? We have to go, George. It's only the neighborly thing to do. No, oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you, dear. And now that we're all here, it is my proud privilege to present our Best Citizen of the Year Award. Best citizen of the year. <laughs> our award this year goes to that outstanding member of our community, Mr. George Wilson. Outstanding member of what? <laughs> <laughs> your prize on your lawn. Oh, well now. Oh, well, I certainly do want to thank you, and uh, this is indeed an honor, and I would like to say, I, uh, I, oh, fiddle faddle, I forgot my speech. <laughs> Isn't it a beauty, Mr. Wilson? It certainly is, Dennis. And do you know what? You're going to be the first to have a ride on it. Oh, <laughs> what do I do now, Mr. Wilson? Well, all we do is pull this.
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.